Hi everybody, welcome back to New England Fire Cooking. I'm Aaron Higgins and today what I have is I have a bottom round roast. And what I'm gonna do with this, I wanna show you guys how I like to make roast beef for sandwiches. It's real simple and it's gonna be awesome. Stick around. Okay, so what I have here is a pound of softened butter. And what I did was I added one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt, one tablespoon of coarse ground black pepper, seven garlic cloves, two tablespoons of rosemary, and two tablespoons of thyme. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my electric beaters and I'm just gonna turn this into almost like an icing for a cake. Okay guys, what I have here is I have a mixture and this is gonna be our injection. What I did was I used a third of a cup of red wine. You can use whatever red wine you'd like. And then I used two thirds of a cup of beef broth. Okay guys, so while we've been making this butter mixture, we've been letting this bottom round roast come up to room temperature. It's really important you wanna do that. You wanna let this hang out for about an hour and let it come up to room temperature. The other question you might have is if you're just making roast beef, why don't you just season it and throw it on the smoker? Well, normally I would wanna braise this in a liquid. There's not too much fat on this cut of meat. It's not like a brisket or a rib roast or something like that. This is relatively lean by comparison. So what we want to do is we want to put some moisture and some fat back into this just because it's going on the smoker and I don't want it to dry out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this butter frosting and you just kind of want to spread it. Just spread it right over the top of the meat. Just like icing a cake. And I always do the bottom first or whatever side you're going to have down. I always do that first. Just a little bit easier that way. And once I get the bottom completely iced, I like to get it into this pan as soon as possible. This is the pan that we're gonna use to cook this bottom round roast in. So to inject this, I'm just gonna use this big injection needle. There's a couple holes, one on either side of the needle. And what you wanna do is you just wanna get it in there and slowly draw back. And what I do, is I go in right from the top. If a little bit leaks out, that's okay. We just want to put some moisture back into this so you add flavor and keep it from drying out. Now we're ready to get this on the grill. Got the Traeger fired up. Between 225 and 250 is what you want for this. We'll see you down at the grill. Okay, so the Traeger's right at 250 and it really shouldn't take too long to cook this. This isn't gonna be like a brisket. It's not gonna be an all day affair. You want to cook this to right around a good medium rare using hickory pellets today. I'm gonna get this right in the center, get it closed. Okay guys, it's been just under an hour and a half and this bad boy's looking really, really good. It smells absolutely incredible. We're gonna let this keep rolling and we're gonna start monitoring internal temperatures in the next 45 minutes to an hour. We're gonna be shooting for right around 140. That's right between rare and medium rare. Should be awesome. Okay guys, so I just tempted this roast beef and we are at 127 and it's just smelling absolutely incredible. You know, all this buttery flavored herb goodness that this has been sitting in. So I know it hasn't dried out, but we don't want 127, we want 140, which is right between rare and medium rare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank this trigger all the way up to high because I wanna put a nice crust on this to finish this off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. I'm going to set this roast right back on the grate. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slam some of this butter mixture right back into the meat. We're going to finish it off on high heat. Get a nice crust on this. It's going to be awesome. Stick around. Okay, guys. So it's pitch black outside. You can't really see much. But as you can see, we're right at 137. Target was 140. 137 is fine by me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this bad boy and we're gonna get it rested. Okay guys, so we let this bottom round roast rest for about 25 minutes and that's all I can take. And I'm about to dive into this and I can't wait because it smells absolutely amazing. We're gonna make some sandwiches out of this. But before I get into any of that, let's go through what we did to get here. Okay, so we had a beef bottom round roast, which tend to be pretty lean compared to a rib roast or a brisket or something like that. So what you need to do is you need to figure out some way, if you're gonna do it on the smoker, you need to figure out some way to put a little moisture back into that beef to keep it from drying out. We still want it to be nice and juicy and tender. Either way, we're probably gonna slice this pretty thin you know, just to make the sandwiches. Cut of meat like this is usually what your deli roast beef is made from. We took the meat out of the packaging and we just kind of pat it dry and we set it on the cutting board and we let it come up to room temperature. And then what we did was we made a butter, salt, pepper, herb, and garlic paste. Basically kind of looked like a icing for a cake. And then after that, what we did was we made an injection out of red wine and beef stock. So we took this roast and we flipped it upside down and then we put our butter garlic herb mixture on top of the underside. And after that, we set it right in an aluminum pan. And then I made sure that I put the butter mixture all over every side of the beef. That can be a little labor intensive and that can be a little bit of a pain in the neck. It's tedious and it's time consuming, but it's totally worth it. And after that, what we did was we got our injection and we injected the beef in nine different places across the beef before we got it on the grill. And then we heated our Traeger up to about 250 degrees and we set the whole pan, don't take the roast out of the pan, but we set the whole pan on the Traeger and we let it roll for about two and a half hours. If I were to ballpark it, about two and a half hours. Don't really pay attention to the time, pay attention to internal temperatures. But we pulled our beef out of the pan once we hit that 125 to 127 internal mark. And after that, what we did was we sucked up some of that butter mixture and all those juices that the beef had been cooking in, in the pan, and we injected the beef three more times with that mixture. And then we let it roll. We just let it roll on high heat until it got to about 136, 137 degrees, and to me, that's perfect. Once we got our beef off the grill, we let it rest for about 25 minutes. That's important. Like brisket or beef ribs, any other cut of beef, you want to make sure that you let it rest. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dead center here, and I'm going to slice right through this, and I'm going to see what we're dealing with. And this is cutting really, really nicely, I got to say. And look at that roast beef, guys. Make some nice, make a nice thin slice here. And let me tell you something. That right there is gonna make for a great, great sandwich. I can't wait to give this a shot. I'm gonna rip a little piece off here. <laughs> This is a time where I really wish I had a deli meat slicer. I really do, because this is awesome. I would love to slice this really thin and stack it right up and make it look really pretty. But we don't have that. We're gonna do the best we can. But I gotta tell you, this has some amazing flavor. That butter mixture, it is totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it bring so much flavor to the game. Injecting your beef, this is moist, and this is tender. 
about the consistency if you want from any roast beef. This is going to make the perfect sandwich. Absolutely perfect. I can do something like this every single day. I'd be totally happy. Totally fat and happy. It'd be unbelievable. Mm. Guys, listen. Look at that. That is roast beef for the ages. On the grill. On the grill. So good. So tender. So absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to make a sandwich out of this. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I can't wait for other people to try it. They're going to love it too. Guys, listen. If you like what you see here and you like what we're doing on this channel, give us a subscribe. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. We'll be putting out content like this all year long. Leave your comments in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you next time.